Hey, back at you again here at Ben's Auto Repair. Uh, today, as promised, we got the 06 Odyssey transmission out. This is the BGRA, as expected. So we're gonna um, first of all, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and get all these sensors off. It's all kinds of stuff on this thing. Get sensors here, 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 there. Speed sensor there and there. This um third, this right here is third um clutch pressure sensor. And I think I need to do some research. I don't know why it's white. It's supposed to be green. I got one over here. It's green. You can't see my dump pile. But anyways, we'll worry about that later. What I like to do is when I take on the sensors off, I always mark them with marker one, two, three, four. Black on top, red on bottom. Oops, wrong way. My darn gun right here, the clip right there is wear it out. Won't hold the socket no more. Take a flathead screwdriver and pop it out. There's one. So far, no metal. Thankfully. This transmission did not want to move in any gear. So, ooh. Okay. That one's clogged up a bunch of bull crap. To me, this is one of the hardest parts right here. Getting these done. All this sensors off. I've got temperature sensors, everything on this thing get off. These two have been there a while, so give me a second. I uh, had to skip forward a little bit. Those two down in the bottom was in there real tight. But you know the drift, just take them out. They're all marked. But all I like to do is I'll take my bolts and stick back where I got them out of. Because they only go in one place sometimes. <laughs> Alright, next thing we're going to take off is. We'll go ahead and get this little solenoid off right here. And so far, no metal at all. So, like I said, number one kill on these things is the torque converter, but so far we don't got no metal. So, the torque converter may be good in it, but we ain't taking no chances we putting one in anyways. We just don't play that game around here. Go through all that work, take the transmission out, and the torque converter ends up being bad anyways. We just back it off right here. Throw it over there. Dipstick is right here. It should slide right out. Which might have to come back to this one. Don't be afraid to beat on it. I hate when they do that. They get in my nose when they do that.
Like right, I said, this is the hardest part right here. Gotta get all this stuff off the outside of the, up the unit. And get one that's been sitting a while. <sighs> it's coming. <sighs> You get one that's been overheated like this, so it comes out easy. Oh, there it goes. Look at all that crap. So, it actually got bent a little bit. I'll be replacing that. I got 5,000 of them laying around. Get that bolt stick back in there a little bit. Now, come out here, take this speed sensor off right here. That one off right there. Give a little twist. And she should pop right out. But we just gonna the same problem like the other ones. Alright, sorry guys, we was running into some problems. This darn transmission got so hot, we ended up breaking the speed sensor off. Took us forever to get it out. I went ahead and got most of the sensors already off, but it's common sense. Where they all go, okay? Just put the bolts back in your sensors when you take them off. Right here, there's a filter in here. This is a cooling line filter. We're gonna see how this thing looks right now. Most of the time, this thing right here gets clogged up 90% of the time. Damn. Really surprised. Alright, here we go. I'm really surprised it, it came loose easy. All right, got a seal, the seal right here. That comes with the kit. Oh, it's been changed. Somebody's done changed it one time before to try to fix the problem. That filter is your cooling line filter. If this thing clogs up all the way, it, you'll lose stub gear once it gets hot, and sometimes it won't make it move. If somebody's done changed it before, the one that comes in it from the factory is white. This is red. So we're going to store it back in there for now, and then we're going to skip to the next part once I get it flipped over. I'm trying to save time on my phone, my other phone is charging, and I'm trying to get an actual camera, a camera like everybody else does. I'm still new at YouTube, and I'm trying different things out to make videos for y'all. Alright, once again, I already got the transmission temperature sensor off and stuff. So we're going to take all these bolts out. 10 millimeter bolts all around the back of the case. I left that speed sensor in there on purpose. The main one we need to get out was that other one that we broke. I don't feel like I don't want a chance of breaking that one. All 
Alright, look around, make sure you got them all. Alright. Take a hammer. And see, and tap it right here on this edge, right here. Tap it on that edge. Right here, and very easy. Tap it right here. Alright. We're going to tap this edge. Tap on that edge again. Alright, it's loose. Now, very carefully, take a screwdriver in there like that. Give it a helping hand. Now some feed pipes in here usually get stuck. Just look under it, see what you got going on. They didn't get stuck that time. Alright, here's your end cover, here's your third accumulator right here, that <laughs> it's stuck, the gasket's still green, that means nobody's been in it, but, you hear that, the gear's gone in it, all kinds of play, we're gonna have fun with this in a minute, alright, Check that, that. Right here, you got a feed pipe right here. This feed pipe goes right there. Like that. Alright? Now, what I like doing is taking all my bolts I can stuck at the end cover, throw them in here. Alright? Sit it right here for a second. Now, People laugh at me, I use my small screwdriver to stick in here to get these nuts unpegged. Trust me, it works. If I break it, I'll get another one. See, unpegged. Unpegged. screwdriver's been through hell but it gets the job done all right let's see here you gotta look this one right here and this one right here is the bus thread so you, you tighten it up to take it off whitey loosey lefty tighty This one right here is the regular thread. Done deal. Take your nuts. You gotta wash this. Hold me in cover. Save room. Alright. Now. The end cover right here. I'm gonna set it to the side for now. Here comes the fun part. If this drum is welded together, it's a pain to ask get it off. He will do it with a puller. I do it with a pry bar like this. And a screwdriver over here. And it came off. Look at that. Now, you take it. Real easily. Alright. Oh, there was that other washer. See? Gotta pay attention. Alright. Here is third gear drum. We're gonna go ahead and look at it right now. Right now we're gonna look at it. Okay. Let's see. Look at all that play. You look real close. The Dawn end cover is way down below that thing. Here's your problem right here, I bet you. Hey. 
What's up with that? I thought my phone was ringing. So, yeah, those good drums don't look that bad. They got hot. A lot of play in it though. Somebody might have, somebody might have took the end cover off before and put clutches in it. That's what they usually do. So far, we haven't seen no real damage. Pull that up out there. Got a bunch of metal now. Got a roller bearing, a little waist. One right there. And one right here. What I like to do is how they how they what order they're in right here on top. I'll put them right here on my side of my table in that same order. Take that. Like that. Actually. Like that. Okay? Now. Take the little dial pin out right there. Take the little thing right here. Bunch of metal coming off my hands now. I can't see right my hands. Alright. Right here, you hit this darn little pin. If you mess it up, oh well, the, the kit comes with new, with new clip things. But the fact that they really indent them down. Take a tin. Take that. Look at that metal. Oh my god. All this little stuff, this is the parking dog. Throw it in your little, your end cover, blow up a little pin. Ooh, baby. We're fixing to find out in a minute what all else is blowing up in this thing. There's a lot of metal coming out of my hands now, boys and girls. Alright. Sometimes this is a 12. Today it is a 12. Sometimes the 13s. Alright. All I like to do is this girl down in here is the bus girl. Auto grill, always mark it. In this case, it only goes one way, but it's a habit I got. It goes one way. If you get one that goes two different ways and you put it in backwards, it will never back up. Never. Take your little pin out. Got two bearings in there. Just like that. Take your finger, put it to the side, put your bolts down there like that. We'll clean that up later on. Alright. Now, here comes the fun part. Sometimes these gears will come up by hand. Today, they ain't gonna do it. I don't got the best pull in the world, but it gets the job done. Take some old bolts from a little transmission we did a long time ago. That wasn't no good. Alright, we're back. So, we're having problems getting the, some of the things off right here. They are hard to get off, but you see what I did? Take the pole of each one and pull them off. 
Now, when you pull your case off, you got to be real careful because you got feed pipes everywhere and usually they get stuck. Pinch my finger. See this one, one gear right here. It's the one's been getting stuck every time. So I think the palm we're gonna have is gonna be in that gear. Hey, we got a doggy barking. Like always. Be good. Alright, so. Of course, you got a feed pipe right here that stayed in it. This feed pipe that was up in here goes right here. Just like that. There's the O wings right there. Now, look at this. Metal everywhere. All in the magnet, everywhere. What was that gear I was talking about? Alright, so. All that do is, once again, you got the green you got the green gasket. That's factory. I'll take all my bolts and stuff again, throw them back in there until we're gonna until we clean the case out and put it back together. Alright, um, let's see here. Got a bolt to dot on the thing. Right there. Alright, here goes the fun part. So, now we're sitting a bunch of metal. We're gonna have some fun now, boys. Huh, huh, huh. Now, got a red flag already. That clip is so clean. Somebody might have been in it before and put clutches in it, but didn't put the, the overhaul kit in it. Kept the same clutches, kept the same everything in it. While that doing is, here's the reverse thing. Make sure it engages right, which it does. Now, Stuff off the table over here. Make room. We don't need the big gun no more for now. All right. Always right, check the gear. Check the teeth right here. Make sure they ain't rounded off. Take this up just like this. Now, put me some plastic bushings right here that's missing. Take your marker and mark this one again. You cannot put that upside down. See? That acts like it wants to go that way. See? That's wrong. It's right there. You put this thing upside down, it will never go in reverse again. Put that right there. That's what's happening now. Make sure these gears slide freely, which it did come right off, thankfully. Okay. 
It's got a bearing in it. See? Put them in line. Okay. Here we go. Now this one right here, out for some reason anyways here is first and second right here actually first and low holds and all that crap they call it so check out our bearings metal everywhere again on signal is stuck on there. See that? Let's go about that in a minute. Alright. Now this one, look how black this, this thing is right here. We're gonna look at this one first. This is third and fourth right here. No, fourth and fifth. Lots of metal still. Sideways. Of course, those gears are stuck to you. All your ceiling wings are flat. A little hard as a rock. Stay right there for now. Let's see if we got in here. take that board out we don't need it again until we put it back together that board stops it from help you out Let's see. all right so here's fourth right here and what in the world <laughs> so there we go right there Somebody's been in it before. Right there. That wing right there was in there the wrong way. That wing was in there the wrong way. Supposed to go like this. They had it like that. You see what's been cutting into it right there. In the wrong way. Okay. Oh yeah, they got hot right here. Got hotter. Even hotter. So somebody's been in it before. Somebody. Somebody took this thing out for a clutch dent before. But they probably didn't do the overhaul kit. See what this side looks like. Now. That clip. Being upside down like that. Could have been like that from the factory. They cut. They could have messed up. Put it upside down. That was upside down too. Why is that one upside down? Do you read that? <laughs> that is crazy. 
out of all the ten missions I've done, I've never seen them upside down like that. So I'm gonna have to go back, do some paperwork and stuff, and make sure, because I might be seeing things. I've always seen them like this every time. Yeah, that fish down there better than that. But so far, we might have a defect from the Dawn manufacturer. And surprisingly, it lasted 260,000 miles. So it's been a good one. Alright, like it. Here you go, first. In a second. Mm. That one's a heavy grill. Lay it sideways. That one's in there good. Now, here's the swag assembly right here. Make sure it turns one way. It's only on the V6s only. Five speeds. It turns one way and stops. All right. All these clutches in this one. right here lots of clutches in this one so right here is first wheel like I said this thing didn't want to move at all do that ain't nothing wrong with those clutches out there for 260,000 miles on it there ain't nothing wrong with them They keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Now, see, look at that right there. Now, you tell me and my mom, that one is in there the right way. Sitting down there like that. Never in my life seen that. Alright, so those first gear. Now under that, this is low hold. So you got more coming out. Need a little pain in the ass to get out sometimes. If I can take one of them out and just glance at them, I'll come back to them. These ones don't look that bad neither. So I'll just put that back down there for now. These things are pain. They go in one, these things right here going one way. I don't feel like cussing that right now. See what they're talking about? Look at that shit. Alright. Take this shaft off right here. Let's set it back here. There's no seals on that shaft. Don't get to worry about it. Differential right here. It should be very short. Take it out. You can set it off to the side. And it does get in the way. Every time you turn around, it gets in the way. Now, we're going to take this filter off. Because I get seen something. The filter's dry. Of all these transmissions I've done, I've never seen one like that. I'm going to really look at that. If this thing needs a pump to put in, the case is bad. If the case ends up being bad, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find a core. Because the pump housing is made into the talking motor housing. Alright, move that thing out the way. Hit a 10 right here. I might be able to get in there with my gun. It don't supposed to be that tight. Put the big gun on. Alright, let's take this filter out, see what we got going on.
Shine my light down there. Ooh, good jolly in the middle. Well, the filter wasn't completely dry, but I think there's your problem. The filter's clogged. It's heavy. Oh yeah, that thing's clogged. You look up in there, how it's been sucking so hard right down the end. I'll cut this filter open later on and show y'all. Look at the metal on this darn thing. Okay. Just put the bolts back in for now, stick it to the side. We'll always match this filter up the new filter we got. Alright. Now we roll them. We roll them now, boys and girls. Alright. The spring right here, take your finger, pull that spring off, take your shifter, turn all the way to the right, lift out. Alright. Come over to this accumulator right here, that's one, this first and second. Take all them out, separate one on the side. Because there's some check balls in there you don't want to lose, and you lose them, well, you'll be cussing. Most of the time, this accumulator is a pain in the ass to get up. Here it comes. Once again, sometimes I forget. Some of these transmissions you can get the cumulative off. Take this one off. This one you got to. I do so many of these darn things. They are the same, but they one one may be different than the other one. See, pulls right out. Always look under. I always keep my feed pipes in it because I don't feel like hunting them down. Got a filter in there that's clean. So, so far we're pointing towards... So far we're pointing towards... Um, filter is clogged all the way to the max. Here's your talking about a check valve right here. It ain't stuck. Here's your stator assembly. Metal everywhere. We have to check the pump in this thing big time. Metal everywhere. Okay. You got a check bar ball right in here. We got good news. Look real close, right here. Look in this hole right here. My bad. I'm, I got my finger turning the pump manually. And it is pumping. Oh yeah. So we got, so we're gonna check the pump and double check it. We got a good pump, so hopefully. It's one thing I'm scared of right there. Alright. Now, we're going to take this accumulator bow body off. It's still a pain in the ass. It gets stuck in the dowel pins. There it goes. Faster. Like I said, get stuck in the dowel pins. Here's your loose valve right here, which is loose. It's a baby's bottom. Real loose. Stick it right there. Got black ants coming out of nowhere trying to crawl on me. Alright, done. 
Uh, these little guide pins don't freaking lose them. If they come out, they come out. Put them with wherever one you took off. Anyways, here goes your um, servo assembly right here. And these bolts do not post be that tight. It only torques the eight foot pounds. Eight foot pounds, and the darn thing was that darn tight. <laughs> Let me correct myself. This right here is fourth and fifth accumulator right here. The third accumulator was in the end cover. <laughs> Come on. Don't be a punk. There it goes. Of course, it got metal everywhere. We're going to check those valves later on. It's going to be a part two of the valve body. Checking the valve body. I'm running out of time on my, on my video. So please bear with me. See that dial, the dial pins came right out. Take your little, look at the metal come off that. Take that, stick it down in there where it came from. Now back to the servo body. Now, most of the time it comes up. Get the servo assembly. Take it to the side. Shoot that to the side. Guide pin came out, thankfully. Because when we wash it, we don't want to lose them. Hmm, plate tried to get stuck on us. Take this right here, pull it wide out. It's your manual valve. Make sure it ain't no hard, rough edges on it, which it ain't. Now, what I like to do is take a little bottle, cut it in half, and take these pieces and throw them in that bottle. Then we don't use them. Now, you look right here. If you don't be if you don't pay attention. You get a check ball right here and one right there. Now, take that tin out right there, stick it right there. These other ones should be 12s. Now, take your hand like this. Take your thumb down there, let it hand like this, and jiggle it up like that. Easy. Now, you take it, and you know, whoop, get that down in there. Now you know where those check balls are. Got one here, and one there, one there, and one there. Take your hand, over right here, and your hand right there. And they fall out in your hand. There's one right there. One right there. Now the rebuild kit comes with these darn check balls. Alright. Of course the dial pin stuck right there at the end. Alright. Here's the pump housing. Looks real good. No scoring or nothing on it. No scoring at all. Real good. Alright. Now what I'll do is. 
take the dumbbell by body, stand up like that. Let it bang. Alright, here's your pump gears. Look real good. Alright, let it stick them back down on there for a second. You can see how they spin. Alright. Take them. Stick them over there. Now, the plate right here. Drain it like that. And there we are. Here's part one of the tail down. It's going to be a part two showing the valve about to get into a part. But anyway, this is the BGRA. It's out of a 2006 Honda Odyssey. Please like, subscribe, and look out for the next video. Thanks.